be like all sad and stuff. <laughs> we do. We we have some you know different beats, Sometimes songs, and uh, really terrible different out. tempo. We just try to make people we get really happy. depressing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I got you guys on a good day. <laughs> so, where do you draw your musical inspiration from? Um, good all question. over the place. I think good music, first of all. Um, and then we, like Kieran mentioned earlier before, we have a lot of influence from Roots music. So mm -hmm. um, we had parents who were really listening to lots of amazing music from um, their generation when we were growing up. And so we got a lot of that, like people like Van Morrison, uh, Paul Simon, and um, Bob Marley and Bob Dylan, a lot of, a lot of really great music like that. But as well as, uh, as young kids, we were actually able to be going to festivals and watching bands from... Um, parts of the world we have really amazing roots music like a lot of south african music and uh, music from louisiana like zydeco music and stuff where watching it firsthand really definitely influenced the rhythms that we naturally play or the styles that we play like so definitely in terms of the how the music sounds um we give a lot of credit to this festival called the grassroots festival that brings a lot of world musicians from to the upstate new york and has to be built a which you're playing at this summer isn't yeah it? actually yeah. we'll be we'll be playing there so. yep in That's a fun thing to be able July. to go back and play at a festival that was such a big influence for us. So Yeah, that'll be fun. We have a lot of tickets to festivals here, too. We've gone to Pitchfork and uh -huh. Hangout and Bonnaroo. But you guys have played at festivals before, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, what do you like better, regular shows or festivals? I like festivals. <laughs> festivals can be, you know, it, it depends. But for the most part, festivals just have that vibe that we sort of fit into. Of, of our music you know you can have a great venue show and be on a bill with great bands and sort of experience that but a lot of venues will have you don't get to know those bands but festivals you get to hang out backstage and I feel like mm -hmm. you connect more with, with even the people if you go out to the festival you can connect with the people you can connect with the other bands and uh, sometimes in venues that's lost but you can get that feeling in a venue and that's what we try to do a lot of the time Definitely. I would say if you get to spend some time at the festival, it's the best. But if you're just in and out, sometimes you miss the vibe or the energy of the festival. So I like festivals when I get to hang out and be a part of the festival and not just be in and out right. playing a show. Right. So yeah. if it's the case, sometimes we're in and out playing a show and then you don't get to feel that. But that's kind of what I would say. But. When you hang out backstage with other bands, do you guys just do you play together? Like, Have you met people backstage where you've collaborated since the festival? Oh, definitely. Right, yeah. I mean, even at shows, people realize when bands collaborate, a lot of times there's no rehearsal that happens <laughs> oh, a couple of days before. It's like you're figuring it out behind stage. You're like, oh, I want you on this part or something, or let's do a song together. And it happens yeah. just right in that like half hour right before you get <laughs> on stage. It's funny. We, oh, had, wow. we had this first video we made of it. was because we have these flip videos you might have seen online. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. And later. we have this one, this one footage, some footage from that, and we were realizing how funny it is because people don't necessarily realize, like, we had like six different people getting ready to sing this part, but it was 15 minutes before we went on the stage yeah. that everyone was figuring it out. So <laughs> it's just those moments where it's fun because it makes it for the for the as for us as the artists, exciting, it's exciting yeah. for us because we're anticipating how it's all going to happen and it's creativity right on the spot. So oh yeah, it's fun. Who have you played with? What other artists have you played with that people would know of? Um, well, Jason Raz has been a huge, amazing person to be able to be a part of his crowd and his fans and all that and we yeah we play a lot of shows in our in our neighborhood in, of venice with brett denon has been a mm -hmm. uh, one of our friend started to become a friend and he we came here a few while a few years back with guster oh, oh cool he's yeah. a great guy and uh so we've been hopefully we'll be doing some stuff in the future with him more tour oriented and we got to open for train um about two and a half months ago Oh, wow. Which was cool. They're really um, taking off now, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah that so, new single. <laughs> right, when they were, right when they were taking off, we did a show with them. So um, that was cool. And then um, let's see some other big some other big names. I don't know. It's a bunch of, <laughs> probably a bunch of people that... Oh, yeah. Sim Redmond. Like Sim Redmond down in the Buffalo. Those are bands more from locally. But, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, it's going to... The list is... It's not all coming to me right now. Yeah, we work with uh, <laughs> the lead singer of old JBB, John Brown's Body, which might be popular yeah. around this area. Um, and Kevin Kinsella, we, the lead we collaborate singer, and body, play yeah. shows with him, shows and he's a great guy. He comes out to Venice a lot, too. And, oh, yeah. Yeah, and plays shows, so it's it's cool to work oh, with A day like today guys. makes it feel like you're back in Venice. Oh, it's yeah. just out. <laughs>
Yeah. So, have you guys had any crazy fan experiences? Anyone gone all nuts? On you? <laughs> We're not allowed to talk about this. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, um, yes. I'll just say yes. <laughs> but, um... We were in. Uh, we can. <laughs> no, say, no, well, no, no, we, we can't, can't say that. We, can't. Oh, okay. we don't know. No, it doesn't matter. It's all. It's, sometimes <laughs> yeah, things period. happen, and it's, it's <laughs> amazing. But no, it's. Uh, it's. Our, we have some amazing fans. So, mm-hmm. in general, fans are listening. We, our fans are just awesome. Yeah. Crazy experiences mean sometimes things you're like, whoa, that was interesting. So, but other than that, no, we, none we of have our good fans, fans that are we, fans that are just fans. phenomenal and really <laughs> dedicated good. to helping us spread the music and the message, and we appreciate them so much. So, I want to make sure that's said first but no we haven't in general compared to other bands we've talked to our fans are way cooler and <laughs> understanding our of personal fans space and yours. stuff like that so. <laughs> <laughs> we love them so that's good well what do you guys have coming up next for us um oh song wise let's do uh, uh song wise okay. you guys want to do mm-hmm. monkey because this is this uh, this song uh, sure. you guys are called the lion and this song yes. is called monkey and the lion and we wrote so it just for us obviously. we wrote it just right. for you guys oh, yeah. <laughs> um so this song is called monkey and the lion it's actually on our one of our CDs, so you can get it online. Little plug in there. Little plug. <laughs> <laughs> plug it. The monkey and the lion live together. In this world of ours, the monkey says the lion. Hey, can we share this place all home? And I can always do it the more you style. Well, I'm fine. I won't be unkind. And I can always do it for all my life. Forgive twice. So that was the monkey and the lion.